Hi, it's Mubashir from LMScrafter.com and in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can actually add a new course inside the Learn Dash. So this is a series of the videos for the video documentation for my client, the Adam, uh, and this is his website. And I'm going to show you, Adam, that how you can actually add a course, how you can actually add a lesson. And in the next video, or maybe at the end of this video, I'm going to show you that how you can actually sell this course uh, by using the uh, member plus plugin okay let's just jump in uh, jump back to our back end of the website all right we are here at the back end of the website and i'm going to um, add a new course inside the learn dash lms i simply click on the courses and from the courses i'm going to add a new course we have already a three demo courses available there but let's just create a new course all right, so give, give this course a title of Lorem Ispam. So this is the title of the course, and you, we have to actually describe uh, what this is course about. And we can actually put a description right here in this section, and I'm going to copy it from this one. All right, this is the demo description. We have to tell the user that what this course is about, what this course is offering, and, um, and what are going to be the credit hours after completion of the course. All right. So our course is here. We just simply need to publish the course. Now that our course is published, we have to uh, we have to uh, build our course uh, with the different topics and the lesson. There are two ways to actually do that. One of the most, um, uh, you know, the most common ways is do simply go with the uh, builder, the course builder. Second way is that just simply come here and create a new lessons and attach those lessons from here. From here, okay. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new lesson. I'm going to call this a title of first lesson. So let's just add it as a first lesson. My first lesson is here. I'm going to add a second. So the most important thing here is that we need to understand the hierarchy of our course. So first we have the course. Inside the course we have a lesson. And inside the lesson we can actually create a topic. Okay. I called it a first topic i'm not giving them actually kind of a names of actual lessons i'm just giving them so you can actually understand the hierarchy that what i'm doing say uh second lesson all right okay you see an option of the quiz so let me explain you how the quiz works so there are two ways to actually add a quiz one is to that actually add a quiz inside the topics which, which are actually associated to a, cer a certain lesson for example for the first lesson once uh, when a user complete all the topics they will be able to actually see the quiz for th so it is this is the point that we were going to create our first quiz okay second is that we can actually create a quiz for the whole of our course so this is a final quiz so when user is attempt all the questions he is going to attempt everything at the end of our course he will be able to actually uh, attempt this quiz and this quiz um, on the basis of this quiz we can actually determine that uh, we have to uh, either give the user a passing marks or we can actually give a user an, uh, like prerequisite in the course that if someone completes this course they will be able to get access to the second course so this is a this is this is where the final quiz is used okay lastly we can actually create an independent quiz as well but uh, i think that's not related at this point but i'm what i'm going to do is that i'm going to just simply update it and i'm going to show that how it is going to look like at the front end all right so this is how our lower mismap course going to look like this is a course title this is the course description and these are the lessons and the topic inside of it our lesson and topics are already created so we need to actually add the content into it okay this is the point that you can actually do you can actually click on edit the lesson and you can actually add a content from here okay you added the first lesson you add the content of let's say the lower mismap copy it and uh, copy and simply paste it here so this is how you actually add a content to a uh, lesson this is the first way to do, do that second way is that you simply go to all our lessons and find out the lesson that 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 you want to actually edit for example if that lesson is not related to your current course and you want to edit it simply come here and from here you will be able to see all the la available lessons you have 
similarly you can actually add a topic from this topics heading and um, and from here our courses section as well this is how you can actually add a topic you can actually drag and drop quiz here in there and uh, uh, yeah this is a uh, this is a just a quick uh, overview of the things that you how you actually how you can actually uh, actually add a basic content into the learn dash course it's a very very basic structure there's a no I, I didn't went to the advanced setting one thing is you notice is that this content is protected by one of the member press rules and in the next video I'm going to show you that how you can actually protect the learn dash um, learn dash courses with the member press and how you are going to use the whole member press scenario okay thank you so much